It is olive season, folks. It's time to pick your and harvest your olives and preserve them. I've come down to St. John's College here and I've got a bunch of students here with me. How are we all? Good, 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 good. I've been invited down here because they've got an olive grove just behind me, as you can see. It's been here a number of years, full of olives, and they haven't picked them this year. And they've asked me to come down and give them a bit of a demonstration in picking, harvesting, and preserving the olives. So you're here to help me? Yes. Yeah, we've got our buckets. Yes. Lovely. Now, we've got a tarp here. We've got a rake here. And we go along and just watch yourself from behind. I need someone under here. The olives are over here. <laughs> come underneath there. That's it. Just watch yourself. Like, I'm just go directly underneath my rake. Here they come. Have a look at that. Now, any of the other ones fall on the ground? Do you want to pick them up, girls? We don't want to lose them all. Harvesting olives off a tree, they don't all have to be completely black. They can be 70% black, 70, 30, green, if you like. If they stay on the tree too long, they start to shrivel up as well. This tree's nice and low. It's a lot easier to do it this way, I reckon. If you can reach the olives, girls, just run your hands, sort of grab them gently and run your hand along the branch and they'll just fall off like that. Too easy. Now, one of you can hold the box and the other one can pull the olives off the tree. How's that? And take it in turns. And I'll run around with a big bag. Look at this tree. You can probably get about at least 20 or 30 kilos off this tree here. These trees live for hundreds of years. And they've developed machinery that can go up to the trunk of the tree and rattle it so, so efficiently to cause all the fruit to fall off but they also have a huge tarp that wraps around the trunk of the tree, which catches all the olives and avoids them going to the ground so nothing goes to waste. Have a look at this now. If you leave them on the tree for too long a period, they start to shrivel up like that. Now, that's not a lack of water, that's just over-ripening on the tree. Now, you may want to try and pickle them, but what will happen is that they'll start getting really soft when they're sitting in that water solution, and they'll start to go off a little bit. So try and avoid getting the really shriveled up ones like that. If you've got some on the tree that are like that, avoid them. If all of them are like that, it means you've let them over-ripen on the tree, and it'll be too hard to pickle. They're actually better if you were just to put them in the rock salt and table salt, 50-50 that is, in a hessian bag and put some weight on top of it and let them extract all the juice and they'll shrivel up even more they'll dehydrate but they'll be so rich in flavor so just salting them to preserve them is a better way to treat these type here that are over ripened how are we going here girls doing very very well i can see who's winning who's got the most oh everybody's putting it into the wine oh look at this one's almost full too we've got a mixture in here Lovely. So we are going to be pickling some green ones and black ones. Ideally, try and keep them separate if you can, because you know the greens will take a little bit longer to preserve. But nevertheless, we're having a lot of fun here. The kids are loving it, and they're all learning about how to preserve olives too. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. We've got plenty there. I think we've got enough to start pickling them, or actually yeah. putting them in water is what we've got to do. We've got plenty of olives here, and we only just started harvesting, folks. I reckon there's probably about 25, 30 kilos here already. Now, what we need to do is cut, is the olive. cut it like that. See there? So now, you can do two cuts if you like, so like that. You're not cutting it. You're not going to cut it in so half. No, we're not going to cut it in half. We're just scoring it like that so that when we put it in the water, because these are very bitter, not acidic, but bitter. Have you ever eaten an olive like this? Yes. 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 Who no. likes it? No. No one. <laughs> what we need to do is wash them every day so we're going to cut them like this you can do the one side if you like it's a lot easier and put them in this bucket here okay. not back in the bucket that you got it from because we don't want to mix them up and when you find a shriveled one like this we need another bucket to put them separate because that's a different process we're going to do there these ones that are going to have water in them that water needs to be changed every day 
Keep the wallops in there, tip the water out and fill it up with fresh water every day for 20 days. Who's going to do that? We'll take it in in turns, yeah? yeah? So for 20 days, change the water and then we'll come back and find the next stage in preparing and for preserving. There you go, folks. Stage one of preparing your olives. Score them on both sides just like that and drop them in a bucket filled with water. Change the water every day for 20 days, then come back and we'll talk about stage two. Maresi. Thank you.